Welcome to lesson number one of the Masters21day.com training. Today we'll cover the basics that will lead you out of debt bondage and onto that wonderful road to financial freedom. And if you commit to these principles, life altering wealth. In every lesson, I encourage you first to pray and consider the goodness of God. We hope being that today's lesson will act as the first step to solving your financial dilemma and become a huge blessing helping you and your family forever. To that end, consider this one word, stewardship. To get started, do these two things. Go to twomasters.org forward slash services and download and print out the free budget forms and the ladder of success that you see here. And get out your Bible and highlight the verses you used in today's study. You will find this is where the real power leading to success begins. The seven step ladder to success. Number one, spend less than you earn. Number two, get out of debt as your goal. Number three, give for giving breaks the power of money and invokes God's blessing. Number four, save and work for these are the opposite of debt. Number five, have an emergency fund. Number six, your goal is to be 100% debt free. Pray about that. And number seven, cascade your extra free cash. God is looking for stewards. Determined to become one starting today. Statistics tell us only 12% of Christians tithe. 75% of Americans are living from paycheck to paycheck. 60% or more can't even cover a $500 emergency. And the average student loan is over $35,000. This is a dismal picture. How do you reverse this trend? Number one, end your bad habits and replace them with new biblically based ones. My bet is that if you're in debt, you are number one, not paying utility or credit card bills on time. Two, credit card debt is gaining. And three, You've been getting calls or nasty letters or worse from creditors, and maybe you've already been bankrupt once before. What should your new direction look like? Well, let's consider this first. It is required in stewards to be found faithful. That's 1 Corinthians 4.2. In the next lessons, we will go over these practical steps that make up your new direction and road to financial freedom. Now commit this process to God, review the latter steps and scriptures, and get ready for the blessings to 